Hello, curious friends. What is there in space? On a night without any clouds, when the view of the sky is not spoiled by city lights, we can see the stars. We also know there are planets there. But that's not the end of it. There's a whole bunch of other stuff flying around in space. Today, I will tell you about the dwarf planets. Ever since he was a robot kid, Kid would dream of space, that's all he did. While he put together rocket ships, he would dream of interstellar trips. Oh. <laughs> now Robot Kid flies into space. He wants to know how life is different in this place. Kid loves to learn, he just can't stop. If he gets crushed by gravity, he'll fix himself right up. Cosmics! Ceres and the Asteroid Belt. Rocky planets, sun, this way to the gas giants. Oh boy, a space superhighway. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. You could fit more than a thousand Earths on Jupiter. In that case, I simply must visit it. Jupiter, stop! Just my luck. Uh -huh. Come on, green light. Between Mars and Jupiter flies a tremendous amount of objects. It's called the asteroid belt. Ah! That means I could be waiting here forever. But I couldn't stand there waiting for Jupiter to fly to the other side of the solar system. Oh, well. I know you shouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> Jupiter was getting away. I had to figure out something clever quickly. Ceres, the largest dwarf planet, it orbits the sun between Mars and Jupiter. It's too small to be called a planet. But you are big enough to be able to help me out. Hello there. I am very sorry to bother you. Could I catch a ride? Not very far, I promise. Mm. This was a really great ride. Thank you for helping me out and a safe mm. journey to you. Mm. Well, uh, I wasn't expecting that. What do you actually play with in space? With this? Mm. Or with this? Mm. What about this? No, I need mm. to keep this. Mm. No, no, I can't give you that. Mm. <laughs> There was nothing I could do. I had to wait for the green light. I understood that space, too, has rules that need to be followed. Besides, when you wait, it's an opportunity. Although I had not made it to Jupiter yet, I got to know a lot of interesting stuff about dwarf planets in the meantime. And you will now have to wait for another marvelous adventure of Kit the Traveler. My curious friends, I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>